Hi everyone, uh, today our recipe is vegetable biryani. Uh, let's see the ingredients here. I'm going to use 2 cups of uh, basmati rice. These are all the vegetables I'm going to use today for our vegetable biryani. Carrot, uh, beans and green peas. Oil, 3 tablespoons. 2 sliced uh, green chilies and half lime. And bigger size red onion chopped. And 2 uh, tomato chopped and chopped uh, coriander leaves and mint leaves around one cup and uh, chili powder this, uh, here i'm going to use around uh, one and a half tablespoon of uh, red chili powder half a cup of yogurt and uh, ginger garlic paste around two tablespoon salt as per taste and uh, these are all the masalas whole, uh, whole masala uh, cinnamon stick cardamom cloves black pepper and cumin seeds Okay, let us see how to prepare this uh, vegetable biryani. Heat oil in the pan. Make sure oil is heat in between. I soak this uh, rice, soak this basmati rice for next 20 minutes. I am going to add the whole garam masala thing. Then I am going to add this finely chopped red onion. No, red onion will be nice thing. Compare with uh, yellow onion or white onion. Cut it nicely until they get brown color. After that, we add uh, green chilies and chopped tomato. Now, I'm going to add green chili. Ginger garlic paste. Ginger garlic paste will give uh, the aroma of the taste to the biryani. Chop it for one minute, then we will add chopped tomato. Turn off the heat and leave it for 
leave it then in between we will uh, start the rice process as I told you before I soaked this uh, basmati rice 20 minutes now I drain this here I heat some water my uh, water started boiling here I am adding uh, cumin seeds cardamom and uh, cinnamon stick here I am adding little bit of uh, coriander leaves and green leaves also It started boiling, so we'll wait for a few more minutes, then we'll add this uh, drained rice into this pan. I'm adding it in salt. The salt is for the rice. We already added the salt for the gravy part. This salt is for rice. Now I'm going to add this drained basmati rice into this pan. See, here rice started floating. This is the time. Now I'm going to turn off the heat and going to strain it. I already preheat the oven for 375 degree Fahrenheit. Now I am going to start the layering part. Uh, take a microwave safe bowl or um, aluminium foil pan. Uh, now I am going to first place the uh, vegetable curry part down. It is very easy. There is no need to worry about the consistency of the biryani whether it's going to be sticky or it's an individual thing okay. uh, place some of the vegetable curry part down now i'm going to place this uh, rice just spread it do the same thing curry rice curry rice it's just we are putting the layers down now i'm going to place the vegetable part again spread it everywhere do the same thing for the rice also just spread it here layering is done See, now I am going to place the aluminium foil on the top, I am going to cover it. Here oven is ready, now I am going to place this tray inside the oven. For next 45 minutes. Okay, we'll wait. It's ready now. I'm going to take it out. Leave it for five minutes, then we'll open it. Okay, let's see. Now I'm going to mix it slightly. Yeah, tasty and spicy vegetable biryani is ready to serve now it's very easy to make you don't need to worry about the water quantity yeah, it's very simple also try it yourself send your valuable comments we'll meet in another video and you can serve this biryani with uh, any kind of raita or any kind of vegetable curry like paneer curry or channa curry it's up to you okay we'll meet in next video thank you